protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com The very good news is that we see that this river is restoring itself, that we see those numbers shifting, but the major risk issue relative to this spill is what's in that water column and how do I continue to make sure that that water column is beginning to restore itself. We are seeing that happening already. So that was the country's top environmental official saying that just one week after toxic sludge was dumped into a river, turning it a hideous shade of orange, saying that this, the river is now restoring itself just one week later. So of course, nature has a way of restoring itself when the EPA is to blame. Isn't that funny? In any other case, can you imagine if it was a private company that had done something like this, accidentally destroyed an entire ecosystem? Um, you'll recall the EPA said that the BP oil spill in the Gulf would take decades um, for, for it to be not affecting the fishing. And then they levied heavy sanctions against BP. I think there were billions of dollars in fines. They were barred for years from federal contracts. But, you know, the, the, the EPA, they're OK. You know, they're, they're being held accountable for this. This is also the same agency that said cow farts. Cow farts are going to destroy humanity because of global cooling, I mean global warming, or I'm sorry, climate change, cow farts, right? But now they're saying an estimated 3 million gallons of toxic sludge contaminated with heavy metals, including lead and arsenic, dumped into this water accidentally. Oh, everything is going to be fine. So fine, in fact, that the governor there in Colorado, Governor Hickenlooper, took a bold swig right out of the river water. So, of course, here, just trying to let everyone know it's completely safe. New Mexico has not <laughs> deemed it safe for drinking, but that guy's an animal. But let's go back to this article. So they say that there are still concerns about the river basin sediment, which th basically these absorbed contaminants from the spill could be released back into the river during stormy weather in the future. So that's obviously a cause for concern, and it's already stirring up some conspiracy theories uh, because a week before the EPA disaster, disastrously leaked these millions of gallons of waste into the Animas River, uh, there was a letter to the editor published in the Silverton Standard and Miner. It's a local newspaper there, and it was authored by a retired geologist, and he detailed verbatim how the EPA would foul the Animas River on purpose in order to secure Superfund money. So this is a geologist, Dave Taylor, and he predicted that the EPA's plugging plan uh, would ultimately fail, and then the agency would likely use the failure to seek super funding. He wrote, the grand experiment, in my opinion, will fail, and guess what? The EPA representative will say then, gee, plan A didn't work, so I guess we'll have to build a treatment plant at a cost to taxpayers of 100 to $500 million. And he talks about how a disturbance, i.e. stormy weather, will cause the contamination to increase. Um, he also says if the gold, the nearby Gold King mine was declared a Superfund site, it would not only mean buku bucks for the EPA, but it would essentially kill any future developments for the mining industry in the area. So here he is predicting verbatim what was gonna happen. A week later, it goes on to happen. And uh, so I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if it gets turned into a Superfund site. I just think it's really funny how they give nature some credit when, you know, it's a federal agency that's to blame. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com.